right for two by Tracy Corduroy and Rosalind Beardshaw. Dog had a big blue suitcase. He took it with him everywhere. Inside were all his special things. A bumpy little fur cone. A pebble, sparkly and small. Some dancing leaves. A really good stick. A soft, tickly feather and a big, red, shiny button. With his special things safely packed away, Dog watched the moon rise. I have everything I need, he told the stars. Then he snuggled down on his big blue suitcase, which was just the right size for one. But next morning, when he woke, someone else was sleeping on his big blue suitcase too. Hey, you can't sleep on here cried Dog. Oh, why not? asked Mouse. Because all my special things are in there, Dog said. Can I have a peep inside? asked Mouse. Then I'll go, I promise. Just one tiny peep then, nodded Dog. Mouse peeped inside at Dog's special things. I have everything I need in here, Dog said. Thank you for showing me, Dog, smiled Mouse. Now, before I go, how about a game of hide and seek? Dog thought, hmm, well, just one tiny game. He said. So Dog and Mouse played one tiny game, then a much bigger one. <laughs> Found you, laughed Dog. Oh, playing is quite fun, really. Later, when Mouse went on his way, The wood felt suddenly quiet. To cheer himself up, Dog opened his suitcase and gazed at his special things. But, oh, he sighed, something doesn't feel right. Maybe Mouse will know what it is. So Dog set off to find him. Luckily, Mouse was not far away. Oh, Dog! cried Mouse. You look sad. What's wrong? Well, said Dog. I thought I had everything I needed in my suitcase, but now I think I need something else. What can it be? Dog was so puzzled. Don't worry, smiled Mouse. Whatever it is, we'll find it. So Dog searched one way. And Mouse searched the other, both trying to find the something else Dog needed. On and on and on they searched, until... Boom!
It's you! cried Doug, scooping up his friend. You're the special something else I need. Me? wondered Mouse. What? I'm nothing special. You're you, smiled Doug. And that's very special. Later, they shared juicy apples for supper. Thank you, dog, beamed Mouse. I've had the best day ever! Me too, nodded Doug, with a great big sticky smile. From then on, Dog and Mouse watched the moon rise together. They sat side by side on the big blue suitcase, which was actually just the right size. For two. Thanks for watching Love to Read with Miss Ellis. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment. Take care. Bye for now.